people talk about the warning shot, right? A lot of people who watch this are sympathetic to doom risk and they're like, we need a warning shot. And then some people make a big deal out of it. Like, oh, so you're saying you want people to die? It's like, <laughs> you know, no, we don't want people to die. I think a really good ideal warning shot might just be to give you the computer virus experience because I think that would really help people build the intuition of like, ah, this isn't just an off button. This is a fight. It's me versus the AI and it keeps getting better at the fight. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It seems to me like there's the problem with warning shots is there's a pretty, there's probably a fairly narrow window where the system is like smart enough to do something malicious that isn't cute. Because right now, AI systems are doing malicious stuff all the time, but it's cute, right? It's funny. Right. It's like, haha, he wanted to go call my boss and tell her that I looked at porn. It's like, that's cute, but it can't, right. it's not going to do it. It's not enough to wake people up. Uh, but then once they are, in order to do things that are genuinely scary, you have to be pretty astute. You have to be pretty strategically minded. You have to be able to think about people and how they will respond to the thing you're doing and how to get around them and so on. That's what makes this type of AI threat scary. I'm kind of reminded of that bit in The Simpsons where Marge is like, oh, this person is trying to kill me. And the police chief is like, look, just show me the knife in your back, <laughs> right? Not too deep, but it uh, should be able to stand by itself. It's like, yeah. he's only willing to try to stop the crime at the point where the knife is like part way into the back, but not all the way in, because that's too much, but it should be able to stand by itself. I feel like that with warning shots. People are like, show yeah. me the thing that's like extremely, extremely dangerous and scary and undeniable but uh, not, you know, actually like taking over in a way that's not recoverable. And like that might just not happen. It could happen. I don't know. Models are a lot derpier than I would have predicted in 2010. And there's a lot more of them in more variety. And so like you actually get a lot of at bats for these systems to do something really catastrophically uh, stupid. Uh, but like we don't want something catastrophically stupid. We want something not quite catastrophically smart. Mm -hmm. And that's just a really thin, I actually, it's possible that that, that that doesn't exist. That is to say that like the level of seriousness that you would need in order for it to be the thing that we classically think of as a warning shot that really actually convinces enough of the relevant people, that might require, that might just straightforwardly require at least as much capability as something genuinely actually catastrophic. Uh, yep. In which case, maybe there just is no overlap time where that happens. I don't know. I agree. Definitely not guaranteed a, a good warning shot.